A classic Call of Duty perk returns in Black Ops Cold War, allowing covert maneuvering behind enemy lines of even the most vigilant defenders. Ninja, coming up. Hey, what is going on, fellas? It's Favstar. Well, after being mysteriously absent from Modern Warfare, the Ninja perk has finally returned in Black Ops Cold War, and we are now rewarded with freedom of movement, with quieter footsteps, and reduced vocal communications. But how effective is it? In today's video, we'll cover all the details so you can gain a full understanding of how Ninja works. The in-game description describes the ninja perk as giving us the ability to sprint more quietly, have resistance to the field mic when sprinting, and to speak only when necessary. The most common thing that most players think about when deciding to equip the ninja perk on their class loadout is reducing footstep volume. And we will fully break down footstep volume a little later. But for now, we'll cover some of the other sounds that your in-game character makes in a typical game. Your in-game character will make vocal announcements when certain in-game events occur, such as securing objectives, calling in score streaks, and throwing equipment. Each of these callouts give away your position and announces your intentions to nearby enemies. Frag out! Field am I running? Well, this probably doesn't mean much to the average player. Advanced players will definitely take advantage of these in-game character announcements. While your in-game character doesn't make these announcements every single time, they will most of the time. With the ninja perk equipped, your character will remain silent and won't make any involuntary in-game announcements. Setting waypoint. You'll continue to announce when you ping enemies and waypoints, but these actions are controlled by you, so if you want to remain silent, you'll just have to avoid pinging in-game objects. The in-game description also tells us that Ninja is resistant against the field mic when sprinting. Here's how it works. In case you're not familiar with the field mic, the field mic is a piece of equipment that acts as a deployable mini radar that shows enemies on the mini map. In this example, I've just placed a field mic in the courtyard on Moscow, and here's an enemy sprinting through the field mic coverage area. As you can see, the enemy's position updates in real time as an orange dot in both the inner and outer circle of the field mic area. Now here's an enemy with the ninja perk equipped. This enemy is only visible in the inner circle of the field mic area and is immune to the field mic in the outer circle. This is the only benefit gained from using Ninja as it relates to the field mic. The benefit is only gained when sprinting. When walking, you'll be invisible in the outer circle regardless of whether or not Ninja is equipped. Finally, we'll take a look at footstep sounds. This is where we'll find the biggest benefit of equipping the Ninja perk. Rather than just listening to the sound differences, we'll use a digital audio meter to precisely see the difference in volume levels. For this testing, I've turned off in-game music, we'll use unprocessed in-game audio, and we'll test sprinting, walking, and crouch walking. I'll stop talking now while we conduct the test.
As you can see, or should I say, as you can hear, Ninja is a very powerful perk in Black Ops Cold War. And I personally feel that it's a must-use perk to stay competitive when playing against advanced players. Of course, this is just my opinion, and I would love to hear from you guys. Is Ninja a must-use perk on most of your classes? Let me know in the comments section down below, and if you enjoyed the video, remember to leave a like and subscribe for more. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys on the next one.